I'm going to, I guess, continue on with accessories and just finish that up, and then we'll move on to clothes. I'm going to talk a little bit about a couple pairs of sunglasses. The first pair is a Christmas present to myself. These are the Ray-Ban oversized wafers in tortoise, even though you probably can't tell that they're tortoise shell because they're quite dark, which is sort of annoying, but um, I really like these. They're oversized, and they suit my face better than the original Wayfarers. Now I have these exact sunglasses but in vintage and they're only 20 bucks which is an awesome deal but this the arms of them are stretched out and so I can wear them but they I can't really do anything super active in them because they'll fall off so, so I really wanted a replacement pair that I could wear everywhere anywhere and I'm gonna bring these definitely with me to Utah when I go. I love these sunglasses. These are probably my favorite sunglasses ever. Got these on Shop Up. I believe they cost $140, $150 around there. So for sunglasses, they're not that expensive. Because like Chanel's are almost $400. So, you know, they're pretty good. And they last forever. Ray Bans are such good quality. And they're so classic. I mean, Audrey Hepburn wore them. All the guys in the Outsiders wore them. Like, they're really a classic look. <clears throat> the other two pairs of sunglasses that I got this winter were actually given to you by a friend of mine. His name's Daryl. He uh, works for Spy Optics. He's really generous. My boyfriend's entire sunglass collection is Spy Optics. They're great glasses. Again, they're super durable and they look really cool. And it's a um, snowboarding, skateboarding kind of lifestyle brand out of, I think, California. Um, but he works out of Vancouver. So yeah, he gave me a pair that I really, really wanted and then a pair that I already have, but in a different color. These are the Clarice, and they're in a gradient black to white, and they're really cool. They're kind of a cat eye. I have these already in Cherry Blossom, which is like a reddish color with a polarized lens, with like a, a reflective lens. Oh, two years old now, so these are kind of replacements for them. And so, like, if you're not too careful with those kind of reflective lenses, they get scratched up, and then they don't look as good. And then the other pair of spies are the ones I really wanted. And he had these this summer when we were on vacation in black, uh, matte black with polarized lenses. And these are the Flynn. They're a men's glass, um, but they're like Stutner glasses. They're so rad. They're really, really big. They cover your whole face. They're excellent for driving because you can still see out the sides because the sides are quite thin. Um, and they're great for, like, the beach. I'm going to bring these also with me to Utah to wear when I go to Las Vegas because we're going to be by the pool and stuff, and I want to have some nice big glasses. But these are so rad. I'm obsessed with them. Um, and, yeah, they're a guy's glass. I think spy glasses usually run around $100 to $150, so I'm not sure exactly how much these cost, but they're really awesome. And they come in a ton of colors. I love tortoise for glasses. I think it just suits my coloring. So yeah, these are red, and they have like the mirrors on the sides. They're just really, really cool. See, I'll show you some jewelry. I bought two rings off Etsy. This is the first one. It's a really tiny um, kid's ring. It's silver with a turquoise stone with a thunderbird. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It reminds me a lot of the rings that Pamela Love um, wore in her Style Like You video, which if you don't go on Style Like You, you need to. It's it's kind of like a giant haul. It's really, really great to watch. So definitely check out that website. But Pamela Love is a jewelry designer. She does all these amazing like claw pieces and kind of native inspired pieces and celestial inspired pieces that are just beautiful. And she has a lot of these rings um, in that video that are like vintage pieces that she loves. So when I saw it, it was so cute. I had to have it. And this is actually, um, it was only like $10 on Etsy. And then my other ring that I bought is also from Etsy. And it's a silver ring right here. It's really small, so it's hard to see. Hopefully, this is not blurry. But you can get it printed with whatever you want. And mine says, Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken. It matches my tattoo. I have a Wild Hearts tattoo. I guess I could show it to you guys. I don't know if you can lost it. Anyway. <clears throat> um, that quote is just really special to me. And probably not for the reasons that you would normally think, but it is. Anyway, I wanted to get a ring with that on it. And this is the tiniest ring she makes. The girl's name is um, Catherine Reichert. Catherine, Catherine Reichert. So if you look for her stuff on Etsy, um, I might put a link, actually, because her stuff's really cool. It's really inexpensive. I think this ring was like $25 or $30, like not that pricey for real silver. 
Uh, she has thicker ones, and the thicker ones you can actually get writing like on the inside, on the outside. Anyway, um, these are from Aerie, or actually from American Eagle. And they're just um, rhinestone friendship bracelets, which I just love this look. I think they're like two for 20-something, because they're buy one, get one half off, and they're both around um, 15 to $20 each. So I love, I love this one. This one's my favorite. But they only had one in this style. They had a couple like this with the chain. But these ones kind of um, <clears throat> are unraveling a little bit. So I would recommend if you can find this style, these are more durable. And I think they're even cuter. But they're great worn together, and they're really sparkly and very, very cute. So, yeah, hopefully you can see those good. I've only bought one other thing from American Eagle, and that's uh, a sock set. They do, like, three for 20, I think it is. And I bought these, um, and they're just so cute. I had to show them to you. I don't know if they'll still have these, this exact style, but I love these two. They are, um, like... Baja ponchos kind of inspired and they're like a thick cotton. They're really comfortable and they're really warm and they look great with my J brand cargos and little ankle boots. Um, they're really cute with this part kind of popping out. And then I also got this one which is more of like a Fair Isle print. The other stuff is all from Airy, which is kind of like pink from Victoria's Secret but you know American Eagle's version of that. Um, I love their sleep shorts. They're my favorite out of any brand and I love when they do like the dolphin cut of them, they're my favorite style. And these ones have pockets, which is even better. These ones are awesome. They don't have pockets, but I love them. They're like a men's boxer short, but they have a little um, lace and the dolphin. The dolphin's like key, this dolphin cut. I don't buy them if they don't have that cut. And a lot of the newer ones, I was there recently, are back to like the old boxer style. Um, that they used to do, which are fine, but these ones just look so much better off. Their dorm shirt, it's really, really nice. It's thin, but it's not too see-through. Um, it has like a longer hem in the back, so um, it covers your bum a little bit, and it's just really, really comfortable. I love this shirt. I think it was around $30, so not like totally inexpensive for, I guess, um, high street store, as I call them. I call them like the British name, but like a mall store. Um, but the quality is awesome in these, and I would definitely purchase more. But it's got this great kind of dusty gray faded floral print. You can see that. And it has buttons all the way down. It's really pretty. It looks great on. It's a little pocket. Um, I like to wear this with leggings as like a tunic. Um, but you can also, it also comes with this belt and you can belt it up and wear it with jeans so it's not like too frumpy and yeah it's really really cute I love this top and then I picked up these two tank tops from Club Monaco these were both on sale this one is like a, a waffly very thin knit with a pocket and a button placket down the front it's quite long you can wear it with um, tighter pants and or leggings but you can dress this top up because it's got a lot of cool detailing, the metal buttons, the sheerness, um, very comfortable. And then I just picked up this one, it's a scoop neck with um, kind of a dolphin cut bottom, long. Dolphin cut is when it goes up, goes like that, just so you guys know, I keep saying that. Um, and this is a cashmere tank top, really pretty, very soft, good basic. Um, this was on sale. I got it for $39 down from $119, so really good deal. But what's really cool, like, even on the strap, they have a thing for your bra strap to be attached so they don't show. It's just the quality is just really, really, really good. The Clamonico stuff you probably won't be able to find unless you're, like, it's in the sales section because both of them were pretty inexpensive. The other tank top, I believe, was, like, $19 on sale. Um, so they might be sold out. Um, same with the Airy stuff. It's a little bit older. So you might not be able to find that anymore either, but they probably still make the dorm shirts. And I know they still have the boxers, so um, you can still check out those. And for like these bracelets and stuff, these are, they're done like different styles every season, so they usually have something similar to this. And um, the ring obviously is vintage, so that's not really available, but there's, this is a really popular style, like souvenir ring. You can find a lot of similar ones like this on eBay or on Etsy. Okay, I'm going to show you something I just bought yesterday from 
H&M, and it says Guns N' Roses cropped t-shirt. It's a really cool graphic. Um, I don't have this style of Guns N' Roses t-shirt, so I bought it. Normally I don't buy like remakes of vintage shirts because usually they look pretty cheesy or they're just not that well done, but this one was awesome and I love the cropped shape. Um, really, really cozy. It was $17.95. There was only one, first of all, left. And it was a size 12, which is really big for me. Um, but because it's so cropped, I don't know, it still looks really good on. Um, it was still flattering on me. I was wearing high-waisted pants yesterday and it looked really good, so I just went for it. I bought this crop shirt. I bought two of these because I loved just the basicness. They still have these as well. Um, it's just a black really soft cropped t-shirt. I love wearing these with high-waisted things, especially ones that are very um, fitted. Like high-waisted like puff skirts, I can usually get away with tucking stuff in. My proportions don't look weird, but when it's really tight or really fitted or streamlined to the body, if I tuck stuff in, it just accentuates the fact that I have a short waist and really, really long legs and um, it looks funny. Just one thing with these shirts, I don't put these in the dryer. I wouldn't recommend it. They, I don't know if they'll shrink so much, but they'll get really like misshapen. So I would recommend always hanging these to dry and yeah, because it just makes H&M stuff last longer if you do that and look nicer. And then I've been living in these two items. These are um, leggings from H&M that I bought at the beginning of winter and they're really thick leggings. like. They're so warm and really opaque, and I just think you need one good pair of really thick leggings like this to get you through the winter, otherwise you have to like double up, which can be a little bit uncomfortable. So yeah, these were awesome. Um, I think these, the t-shirt the I think was $12.95, um, and I think these were like $16.95 or something like that. And that's about a bunch of socks. These ones I've been living in as well. Um, they're over the knee, really loose black socks and these were these were probably ten dollars or twelve dollars I love wearing them with leggings and then just having them like come a little bit above the knee um, they go all the way up my thigh though like if I wanted to be warm I wear them around the house too I just really love these socks I wish I bought two pairs because socks just wear out pretty quickly and I know that I'd wear these forever and then I got these two packs as well these are great they're like khaki one was ribbed one was plain and I wear them slouched down with little ankle boots. Looks really cute. And then I got this pack, which was kind of like a crochet, but very soft sock in black and in gray. These ones are great with um, sandals, like do the sock and sandal look. I, I bought a lot of socks <laughs> this year. We'll do, I guess, the last of the socks. I bought these. These are from Hue, which I got at the Bay. And these are like those fuzzy socks that are really popular. Um, but Hugh does them in these really cool colors that you can actually wear them like out and about and you don't feel like you're wearing these slipper socks. I wore these a lot with my Moola boots and they look really cute and I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable and so warm. And lastly, I went to the Gap and bought a ton of stuff this fall because Gap always has such great sales and there's so many good basics there. I got this sock pack to again wear with ankle boots. I loved this one. It looks like bright orange and blue um, Nordic pattern. And then these ones said love me on them, which is so cute and sparkly. And then there's a glitter one. You can't really wear these ones as much with sandals because they're too thick, but they're great to wear with um, ankle boots and just have like a bit peeking out. These ones I got to wear with sandals though. They're on sale for $6. These are still available at the moment. Just like a heart print, sparkly short sock. I haven't worn them yet because I just got these. Stuff that might still be available first. We have these um, legging jeans from The Gap. These are awesome. They look really good on. They're very simple so you know it's not like a bunch of detailing. They're super super comfortable and they look like real jeans which is I mean they are real jeans but they have tons of stretch and they're very very comfortable. I love these. I got these when they had a sale that all their jeans were 40% off, and then I bought these, so they were really, really cheap. I think they are like 40 bucks. I got these two tank tops as well. They were on sale again. <laughs> I think they're two for, two for 20 or two for 22 or something like that. Very thin rib, lots of stretch. 
I got this navy blue, because navy blue is probably one of my favorite colors to wear. And then I got this great eggplant color, which I think is beautiful. And I've been buying a lot of tank tops because it's something that I have very little of in my wardrobe. And I need them for layering, and I'm always like, oh, I wish I had a cute tank top with a nice color to layer underneath my stuff. Or try to focus on, like, what I'm needing in my wardrobe versus just what I want. <laughs> but I did a lot of that, too. This is another little Gap Basic. This is their um, Thermal Tea. These ones probably aren't available anymore, but <clears throat> they're really great. Very comfortable, and I wear this one quite a bit. Great for layering. And then I got two scarves, um, both of which are more than likely not available, but you get the idea of what I look for in a scarf. I love like a circle scarf like this. This is the one I wear the most. It's super warm. And I usually wear it either like this in my coat or I'll wear it like this. And I just think it looks, you know, really cute and the color is really beautiful and um, it's super warm. And this was, these were both like $30, but I got them during a 30% off sale. So they were like $20, $20. And then this scarf is a cowl, which I also really like. And you just put it on like this, and it kind of sits. I thought this one was really cool with the zipper. So you can kind of like undo it and open it up a bit. And I liked the lighter color because most of my scarves are black. So yeah, I got that one. And then the last thing I got, which is I'm almost 100% certain, completely sold out everywhere, but it's fantastic, is this sweatshirt with a little gold zipper. Really cozy and long and great. I had to buy large because it's all I had left, but it's long enough that I came out with leggings, so I was pretty happy. Um, but it looks really cute, kind of more cropped style in a small as well, so if you can find them on eBay, it's definitely a great buy. It's a really soft, really pretty sweater, and it also came in black.